Hello and welcome to my channel, Happy Learning to You, your ultimate guide to easy learning. The topic for today's video is nutrition in plants. And today I will explain, I will deal with the introductory part of it. Now before moving forward, let me appeal to you to like and share the video and do subscribe to my channel. Coming back to the topic. Now we all know that food is essential for all living organisms to carry out various activities. This process of taking food by an organism and its subsequent utilization by the body is known as nutrition. Now components of food which are necessary for by a body are known as nutrients. These include carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals. Now why do we need these nutrients? Because they enable living organisms to build their bodies, to grow, to repair damaged parts of their bodies and provide energy which is necessary to carry out various life processes. Now, all living organisms require food. So how do they obtain that? All living organisms include plants, animals and humans. Now, among that, plants can make their food themselves by utilizing the raw materials which are present in their surrounding. This includes water, carbon dioxide and minerals. So, therefore, they are known as autotrophs. It is a mode of nutrition in which organisms make food themselves from simple substances which are available in their surrounding. Auto meaning self and troughs meaning nourishment. So they are capable of obtaining their own nutrition. Next, animals including human beings cannot prepare their own food but they need it for their survival. So how do they obtain it? They obtain it from plants or animals that eat plants. So either directly from plants or from animals that eat those plants. So therefore, these organisms are known as heterotrophs. Okay, it is again a mode of nutrition in which organisms cannot prepare their own food. Instead, they obtain it from others. That's why the name heteros. This others and trophs meaning nourishment. Next, this topic deals with mode of nutrition in plants. So we will focus on only plants. Now, plants as you know are autotrophic wherein they have chlorophyll which is a main component required for preparing their own food. And so they are capable of making their food from simple substances. Next is heterotrophic. So as the name suggests, they cannot prepare their own food. So again in plants there are certain plants among those plants there are plants which cannot prepare their own food because they do not have this chlorophyll which is needed to synthesize own food. Such plants may be parasitic wherein they depend on the food produced by other plants or they may be insectivorous wherein they trap the insects and digest them ultimately obtaining nutrition. Or they may be saprophytic wherein they take nutrients from dead and decaying matter. And the fourth heterotrophic mode of nutrition is symbiosis, wherein the organisms live together and share the shelter and nutrients. So one provides shelter, the other provides nutrients. And so they benefit each other. This means symbiosis. So this is all I had under today's introductory video. Please do like and share and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching.